All right, so we're gonna do a quick little walkthrough of your center console area. Uh, there's quite a bit of storage in here. So just to kind of go through the main compartments we have, this front area, click that down, it pops open. This is basically your uh, phone charging or just storing. There's actually two ports in here. So if you open this guy, you see two. Uh, ours came with both a USB-C port and a Apple Lightning port. And then within here, even more space, as well as two USB ports, which we've been measuring about one amp coming off of those guys. There's a deep pocket storage into here, all the rubber mats throughout everything. This closes up. You want to be gentle closing this. If you, uh, we found that if you do a quick tap, it doesn't work. So you just got to go gentle with that guy. Two cup holders, always accessible, not in the way of your armrests like they were in the S or R. Inside here is more storage. There's a box in here which you can pull out and leave out for your accessibles and then a little bit lower storage into here as well as a 12 volt charger. And then the back of this guy is two USB ports as well for your rear passengers and rear vents for them. Uh, this is kind of a cool feature where they put the phone chargers now. So say you were to come into here, we've uh, disabled the Bluetooth this way to enable us uh, pretend like we're just getting in right now rather than being here. But so if you were to dock your phone here on the charger, start charging, show on there, it's, it's charging and you would connect, which it would automatically do normally when you're coming in out of the car. And you could set up Android Auto to uh, run your maps or other shortcuts and text messages for you, which this doesn't quite do yet and hasn't really done so far on the S. The other small thing is this does not come with an internet browser, which for the most part is not the big a deal because you're not browsing the web a whole lot, but me personally, I use Waze quite a bit when I'm driving, and on my S, I run Waze on my main screen here. Uh, as a viewer and so now you can run ways through here have your phone here and you kind of got like a dual screen action going on so this is a really nice setup the way they put this and it's easy reach um, so that's your center console and that's your basic usage we'll also start playing music automatically if you like these videos uh, and you want to see more of them be sure to like this one subscribe to our channel we'll be making more of them and let us know in the comments what else you'd like us to do and we'll try to do our best to get them up there for you